time, or possibly even fourth time tonight. Hey there, Silver Tongue Devil here, and when things don't go well, you come and play IDU, and you come and play some Fletcher. <laughs> so, what are we going to do? You will see that I have posted a video called Orphan Annihilation. Catchy, right? And Orphan Annihilation is the way that I have been playing Fletcher to try and get a decent score on the board. The problem with Fletcher, every miss gives you damage. And, I mean, that's not the only problem. Every arrow that you fire is random. So what I've decided to do through a little bit of information that was given is try and reduce all of the sources of damage as much as possible without compromising our score too much now how do we do that well we do that by assassinating orphans the one in the level and the one in the pit nothing else other than the things that we need to kill to get out of the pit that's where we'll lose our life. Kill the bosses, go to the next world, carry on. Hang on a second, a message is delayed. Yeah, the, the messages are coming through fine for me. There will be a little bit of a delay during the stream on the chat that goes out to the stream. However, when it's all finished, and when it all gets sorted, it'll all match up reasonably well. So, the way that I do Fletcher is rooftop hopping, incredibly fast bits, to then lots of slow prepping. So, one of the first things I would do is we want to locate the pit. There's our pit. So we know where the pit is. We don't need to worry about what arrow we go into the pit with as our opener. Although we do. Now you remember, first lesson. We can get into that pit and return to this location. And the way we do that is like that. So I've always said to you guys, oh yeah, you can teleport in from anywhere. And you'll always be returned to that location when you go into a pit. A pallet exemplar and it's actually useful in this mode there's one thing i like about this starting is that i don't think it puts the orphan close to you now the next thing we are going to attempt to do we do need to kill a lot of things here so we're going to use copious amounts of slow time and we're going to kill what we can but the first, the reason why i'm down here is because i want that orphan so I'm just going to kill a couple of these enemies. And what I'm actually doing, in fact, I'm going to stop killing these enemies now, because this is what I want. I want an orphan assassination arrow. So now we just need to go find that orphan. I'm going to wait for the ghosts to close in a little bit, and then we're going. As long as we keep moving, we shouldn't. I'd love to know where that orphan is. Murder. There she is. And then assassinate. And then we'll clear up this mess later. And yeah, let us know, Camille. We'll uh, we'll help you set up said stream. But you have no, not not happening. We're here for score, not that. We're not here for silliness. So, yeah, I would highly recommend, Camille, you go and set up all of the Facebook stuff. Whether you're happy to stay on Facebook or you need to go meta, you need to do it and change it. Otherwise, it won't match up and it won't cast. As I found out earlier. So, what have we done so far? 
we have killed the orphan. Oh, divine sight for life. Don't want to waste that on a ghost. Or is that three? Probably three. So now we've got to take the pit out in a little bit calm and more calculated manner. You don't have to do all that busy work at the start like I did. But this is one of the things that I've started doing within Fletcher, is I have been <coughs> killing enough enemies to get the arrow that I want that is then capable of doing silly amounts of damage to the orphan, nailing it in one. It then involves doing a lot of rapid teleporting about the place and then escaping. And now we slow everything down nice and slowly. He says, as he gets bored. for the odd hit or two because of the health pickups that we get as we're going along. <laughs> oh, there's the first miss of the night. Plenty of more of those coming in. To be fair, all of my high cycle play recently has made me pretty careful. Ish. Just saying to Sean today that playing this game without is like taking the weighted training clothing over. Not that I think that you guys are like weighted training clothing. My game is definitely improved. And it's down to you guys a lot. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like you will. I thought it was going to be a choice thing, the whole matter account, but it looks like it's a have to. Whether you want to keep everything the same or not, it looks like you have to change things. Now, these guys are obviously a problem. We've just try and get as close as we can to them. I use me. He says, that was rubbish. Usually, to absolutely nail them. Got to be very wary of your explosive arrows as well, and that secondary explosion, obviously. So we are literally doing the minimum that's required here. And also, if your run starts to get in danger, and if I ever work out how to actually do this whilst I'm doing a Fletcher run, <laughs> or if anybody works out how to do it, tell me. Is when to not attempt to pit because you should be able to kill the level orphan and the end boss. Well, not reasonably easy, but depending on how far you can get in the game. Shit. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, get me out of here. Trying not to go for any fancy headshots. Everything is center of mass. Everything is body shots. Unless I'm feeling particularly spicy. Which. Should be. 
Right, there you go. Pits, pits. Ooh, not having that teleport arrow. Pit entrance is up. We sneak in as close as we can. We grab the life. Um, you'll see there I just did what is technically a teleport grab. So I'd already initiated the teleport. You have time to reach out and grab something. And that's the longest part. That's the longest bit that we're going to spend in purgatory. The rest of it is rooftop hopping because we know exactly where the orphan's going to be. The orphan in purgatory will always be in section three. So we can rooftop hop all the way there. And now the only enemies that we're going to kill here is so that we can adjust our selection of what we're going to assassinate the orphan with. We want a times three or a times five arrow. <sighs> Enjoy losing your life then, Norb. Now, let us see. She's in there, so we'll go across here. Go across there. There she is. Teleport right next. Assassinate. Block you. And... We're not fighting anything, we don't need to, it will just lose you life, I can almost guarantee it. In these situations where I know I've got Anakin coming up next, and I can do him without losing any life, and I would get two health, I could up my score here, but you're not going to get much. And to be fair, with how the leaderboards are looking, as far as Fletcher is concerned, doing this all the way through cycle one will probably get you into the top 100 <laughs> so so this it's not an easy mode so how do we deal with anakin good question <sighs> but nor that's the talk of somebody who's not going to get very far <laughs> <laughs> he, to be fair, there are. If you are confident within your shots, then by all means go for it. But the problem that you have within this game, as we are all well aware, is that, and we are told, is headset limitations or, or hardware limitations, is arrows going through heads or bodies, for that matter. So as far as Anakin's concerned, I like to go here. <laughs> Take this amounts of slow time between shots. Try and get those headshots where you can, because that will stagger him if he's not already staggered. Back a little bit. He's got the to have a big finish. There we go. I could have gone a lot faster with that as well, but then the faster you go with you, you can just sit on here and bam, 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 bam. But the faster you go, the more chance there is of you getting a pass-through shot and that pass-through shot not being Cupid's or Divine and it hurting you. So there we go. We're at 100, uh, uh, 128,300 odd. On to Paradise Lost. This one's going to be quick. Gabriel in Fletcher actually becomes a very hard boss. Or at least probably one of the most time consuming. So again, the only shots that I want to take now are on isolated enemies. Or if I have something like a Cupid's Wrath or a Divine Sight. As you are... Possibly aware because it was done in an update, but wasn't. Come on, now. but wasn't spoken about. Come on, you're not gonna. Ah, uh, it's because it's the wrong structure. Not gonna allow it. All right, fine. We'll climb. As you may be aware, Cupid's Wrath, Divine Sight, these arrows do not count for the purposes of misses. Everything else does. So that means if we get a hit with something, we don't lose life. If we miss, we do. 
if it, the arrow is Cupid or Divine Sight, it doesn't matter whether we hit or miss. Now, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get a good arrow for the Orphan. Volley with the first hit, hit fine, so we're good. Volley three will do the job. I have now got the arrow that I want to use to assassinate the Orphan. So I am literally now... Yeah, I mean, to be fair, the whole Pico talk, I am listening. And from what I understand it, the Pico is actually going to be more capable than the Quest 2. Not by a lot, or it's going to be uh, fairly similar. I think the Pico 4 is going to be uh, the next level. And to be fair, if it runs the same game just fine, I mean, I would have to do, would have to do that 100% profile twice more. That didn't go so well. Holy light is not the arrow that we want. Keep us right to do. Shoot that on the floor. So that wasn't ideal because what happened with volley? Three of those, two of those three shots actually passed through. Ooh, that's not a good shot. That's better. And we just want to be out here, out of here as quickly as possible. Try and know and always repeat a route, which I am not doing a very good job of at the moment. I got caught unawares with uh, that. Get rid of you. You can have one as well. Damn it! The teleporter didn't go. So, and yes, you're quite right, Camille. There's a massive difference in score, but when the the scoreboard is as low as it is, well, just want to get a quick score on the board, don't you? Um, I was able to repeat this for five cycles and got me top spot on the crossbow, pipping a certain somebody, and has got me, I think I'm fourth on the bow now. And the big difference, though, as you say, is you could have cleared the whole level and doubled your score. Yeah, it wasn't a great path. You're not wrong. Come on. Now, difference with Gabe here is we have to wait for him to be close. And we need to be very careful about our shots. So, copious amounts of slow time. Take that one. Oh, and another. Even this now, we still want to take our time a little bit. Oh, no. We still want to take our time a little bit, even though we've got him perfect position in a hand of God. Because if you start rattling these off, this will get you. Because the drop off arc of it is so heavy that even aiming center of mass, it can miss. Uh, I don't know, maybe rooftop hopping will be popular after this video, we shall see. Yes, I've got some I've got some routes and some very familiar ones, but the problem is when things go wrong you just make do. But yeah, you are quite right, there's there's optimal routes through each section. So you'll see I've been playing for what, grand total of twenty minutes? And Definitely don't want holy light, so we'll get rid of that on him. We'll get rid of that on him. I'm not gonna use cupids to get rid of arrows. Oh, holy light is awful. God awful in this mode. Lots of oh, I'm gonna have to get rid of this. And cupids. Volley five, that's what we want. So now we're orphan hunting. You'll notice that before I leave, and as I land, I hit the slow motion button. And the reason being is just... Oh, just puts the world into slow motion. Though. Now, I don't think... I've made a point of... 
almost didn't hear those. I've made a point of going past all of the locations that I know that the orphan could possibly be in, and I would be in range of her, and she would be laughing. So I don't think she's in section one of Abyss. The one thing that we do need to check potentially is, is the pit here? And again, I'm going to say no. I'll stake Beanie's reputation on it. There is a way that we can check. If the portal was in an outside location, we may be able to see it from there. We could also look back and have a look. Let's see. Well, the teleport arrows just aren't landing tonight. I don't think the portal is on the way there. And we don't really want to go back to risk it. However, for the purposes of this technique, I shall. But I don't think the orphan, as far as Abyss is concerned, can be in section one or section two. So, let's see how we go. Let's see if we can hear as an orphan. So I reckon the pit will probably be in there. Knowing your pit locations is obviously quite important. I mean, to be fair, you, as far as optimal rooftop hopping is concerned, you start off with taking the route that you're most comfortable with, and that needs to stay high. I'm doing something a little bit different here. I'm checking. It's not there. doing this previously it was so easy but i'm getting really turned around now that i'm trying to have a conversation while it's trying to be fast <laughs> i think i've got used to being without you for a little bit chat right now that's a problem because i haven't seen the pit and it would i would have thought it would have been there normally it's a case of you hit the locations up i'm just trying to think where it could be if it's not there you hit the locations up. Where? So the only place that it can be here is in that building at the bottom. Can't be in that building. Can't be internally on this section. So it can't be here. The other problem as well is I haven't hurt the orphan. That's a bit annoying. There's one place that she could be. Let's go and check. Uh... So normally, <laughs> what you would do, ah, oh, you know what, no, not normally. Normally what you would do at that point, if you missed them, is you shouldn't go back, because you have alerted and moved a lot of enemies around the place. Although they've despawned, you could be walking into some serious trackage. So, don't do this bit. But you shouldn't go back. This is where you take hits. And the one thing that I will say is we're on full life. It definitely wasn't in there. Yes. We're on full life, so we're actually doing pretty well in the grand scheme of things, other than the factor of having to backtrack. I don't think the orphan is in section two either, which means one of two things. She's run, and we didn't hear it, which, I mean, I've definitely got my audio on. Or two, she was in section one and we missed her, which don't want to have to admit, but it's looking extremely likely. It's not there. Ah, 
it's got to have been far left and we didn't check. Silly boy. Uh oh. Pit. Pit. No. Be down there then. Check in the second section, but not in the first. I wonder where the orphan is then. What if she's outside? There she is. And assassinated. And now we're going down here. Now, this is a little corner that I like to park in to deal with all of the shit that I've just raised the hell of. We've really got to make use of our slow time. Putting lightning bolts down here is obviously amazing. But the longer you get in the cycle side of things, the less amazing it gets. Now, it can only be in here. Yeah, I thought so. Um, we will probably have to clear this. Because teleporting into that angle is quite difficult. So let's see what we can do. We'll get the ghosts as well. Even if you don't make the kill shot on a ghost, it still counts for the purposes of a hit. Which is obviously good. The other reason why we have to do this guy over, so this is one of the worst pit locations, or one of the worst pit portals for us, is if we teleport past him, there is the chance that we'll take damage. And, depending on where we teleport from, we might even take damage on the way out. <clears throat> right, what were, what were Camille's sarky comments about doing things better than me? Uh, a little bit more advanced than me. But no, you're quite right. No, I, I, I don't think what I'm doing is particularly advanced or skilled. I mean, you need to, you need to know how to manipulate the game, what the different arrows do, and know your locations. But I tell you what, for those of you who don't know any of those things. It's a good way to learn and it's a good way to start out. It's another good thing about Runner. Oh, we haven't done so well there. Should have held that Wildfire 5. So what I should have been doing, instead of chatting with you guys, <laughs> is I should have held that Wildfire 5 and gone and assassinated the orphan. Yeah, I have as well to my own expense. Well, let's see if we can all lure Cupid in. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to cycle this arrow. It doesn't matter too much. But I'm trying to get into... <sighs> Hand of God. If, so, if... If instead of following the chat that's on screen, Camille, follow the chat that's actually embedded within YouTube, if you hit the little three... Uh, buttons in the top right of the chat that's not on screen, as it were, you can pop that out and put it where you want to on your desk. That should be more on it. The thing is, between when I hear it and when I respond, it's why I try and leave a second or so, so that it all marries up when you guys watch the replay. Basically, it's for the purposes of people on the replay, if I'm honest. Ah, oh, she's right down the bottom. That's not good. But, oh no, she's not there. <gasps> Never get her here. <laughs> uh, sorry if you are just joining us and we're expecting <laughs> a giveaway and uh, Rogue Ascent. This is in Death Unchained. We had some problems with the audio of the game. So this is a bit of a backup one. But rest assured, I'll be rescheduling the giveaway stream as soon as possible. But yes, it is a fantastic game. But we uh, we're unfortunately won't be doing a giveaway on this one. So, 
now what I would do is I would try and get as little of this pit done as possible because the only thing that we need to kill is the big guy at the back. But to unlock him, we need to kill some bits and pieces. As soon as he's unlocked, hopefully we'll have his attention. He'll come and teleport over to us. I have to get in there and kill him. Also note in this mode, you can quite happily knock the shots into the shield for days. Risky. I shouldn't take that shot. You can knock shots into the shield for days and they all count as hits. Randall, this... Although this might not have been the game that you're expecting, it is a fantastic game. Ooh, curse of God. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. But, but Orph Annihilation. Orph and Assassin, that's one thing. This is Orph Annihilation because all we're after is orphans. All right. Whilst we wait for the big boy to get his act together and come and teleport to us, because I am not fighting for any of that, not to get to him. I'll have a wet water. Hmm. And yeah, apologies for the uh, the stream tonight. It's been a little uh, disjointed, shall we say. But rest assured, I will, if not through settings, I'll find a way with uh, with Jordan to try and get that stream going so that I can play the game. Because I know we're here to look at the games, but I do, you know, I want to give it its best light, so... Ah, okay, that, nope, that's cool. That might have been, because I haven't got any delay on my stream. That might be because of the fact that I disconnected and reconnected, and you guys, I don't know how far that would be behind. One of the things that you can do is if, and I found this out on Beanie's stream as well, because he actually purposely puts a 30 second delay on. If you go into settings, and put the stream time to two times normal speed, it will then whiz through what I'm saying and get you up to speed as quickly as possible. So you may have found for a combination of me having to mess around, changing games and, and doing various bits and pieces and tinkering with the stream, that things may have fallen behind on your thing. I do it all the time on a lot of streams, but yeah, put the speed from normal to two times, it then should catch up, and when it goes back to normal, you are at the the quickest that it can be, basically. Try that. Let me know how you get it. Come on. Run out of things to talk about over here. I do need to kill at least one of these guys. I always try and kill the one on the left so I can get past. Then we'll come all the way back. Hopefully he'll come too. Come on. I usually find weight in here, and looking down will lure him in. <sighs> yeah, I'd try do do what I said, Camille. Put it to two times not at two times speed, and see how you go. Is everyone else finding that the chat's marrying up all right? As I said, you know, I've tried something different tonight, games-wise. So it might don't really see how that would affect the stream but we have had a bit of pissing about i have heard from other people that are streaming that youtube's having a bit of a nightmare and it might be a knock-on effect of um would it be a knock-on effect of oculus i doubt it but it might be or meta or facebook or whatever they call themselves these days come on oh i got one Oh, there you go. So try that. Even I didn't know that. I didn't know you had to press a button. But then the thing is, I think I thought I was bang up to press, and then I've done that times two thing, and it's gone even closer. 
so I'm actually doing really well on this or this style. Good, Camille. After all your comments, I'm glad you feel stupid. <laughs> We're not even going to bother with any of the things in here. It's all... Now, I'll know, I know that's leaving points behind, and I hate doing that, and believe me, it rankles me still. But every single extra shot that you take anywhere is an opportunity to lose life. And yeah, don't worry about it, Camille. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. And yeah, I also appreciate all of you guys uh, trying to help me out on the uh, audio side of things and your suggestions and and changing this stream into audio check. Basically. But yeah. So I, I feel compelled to do something. So as I say, we'll probably end up editing all the rest of that out. I'll change the thumbnail to something funky and it'll be like it never happened. One of the other things uh, that I've asked about and had some positives back from you guys is doing a 0% on Siege, which I am more than happy to do. Did we get the orphan in the first bit we did? So there you go. What we'll do in a second... So I've done almost, because I wouldn't be scoring any more points, or not much in the ways of points out of Asmo at this stage. This, it's not the easiest of techniques in the world, but you will gain some skills out of doing it this way, and you will become more familiar with things that you may not be, like bosses and how to do them. The way that I do Asmo is particularly, uh, well, I try and go for a fast kill on him, let's put it that way. <clears throat> So, let's see, we're doing one cycle's worth of just orphans and killing the absolute minimum in the pit to escape gets me on the leaderboard. Because ultimately, this is one of the things I'm going to be looking at doing soon, is putting something together for you guys. I don't, by the way, total disclaimer, I do have no idea when the end of season is. However, all I can go off of is the fact that Beanie's putting scores up. And that usually means that he's there might be a date or he might suspect. Now, I know he can't admit to any of that at the moment either. But, uh, yeah, I, I see scores going up. So, right, so let's have a look. So I was at, I'm at 261. So right now, doing one cycle, orphan, pit, orphan, uh, orphan and pit in purgatory, orphan in paradise lost, Orphan pit in abyss would put you above the mighty beanie. He's the son of a bitch customer manager. I mean, he's the super bright community moderator manager. So, you know, and that would get you somewhere between, I can't tell exactly, but it would get you somewhere between Harry Pear and Beanie. I mean, those are two top names. And I mean, like, Big Smith is just above that. And Elite Jonathan is only a little bit above that. And then you've got the mighty John Holland and um, the fish himself. And look, Camille and Stanky. And I see a Keith there as well. So my point is, you don't have to do a lot to get somewhere. Now, yes, I know that once this video goes out that some other people might be trying the techniques. I do wonder how many people have been put off by Fletcher because it's bloody hard. I'm just trying to disseminate it as much as possible and make it as easy as possible. And we'll see how we go. So, as I was saying in the video that I did, you should get anywhere between about 250 to 300,000 per cycle, give or take. Obviously, it'll increase more because you'll have to do more work and, they'll, and it'll be worth more points for the enemies that you have to kill in the purgatory pit. But already, this score that I've done now would put me in the top 50 would be fair to say right now put me in the top 50 in the world now I know there's not a lot of people playing Fletcher but you know no that's fine but those two things don't go together Norb 
your aim is bad, don't want to lose precious headshots. Now, don't get me wrong, I know where you're coming from. I didn't like this style of play either. But the one thing is, it is fast. So, one of the things, just before we do this, one of the things that I think it's worth talking about is why you want to at least put a score onto each leaderboard. The reason being is because those all important legend points, when end of season comes around, you want to be on every board, in every... Bloody loud music, because I know that'll drown me out a bit. And I can't escape it! Oh, it's gone now. You want to be on every leaderboard, in every discipline, so both bow and crossbow. There's also a lot of points up to for grabs on the Siege of Heaven leaderboard by doing the little sub-leaderboards. There isn't a massive amount of difference between legend points between somebody who finishes first... Oh, what I would do here, once he's like this, we can wail on him. Don't want those, don't want that, that'll take. So I'm going to go with Cataclysm here. I'm going to try and put it across his body and try and take out five of these six blisters. Kind of like this. There we go. And then, here's the important part. Look at them, wait for them to get here, turn around, run away. Keep running. We know there's one boil left. Oh, good shot, Asmo. Well done, sir. So we know there's one boil left. So we'll go back and we'll go and get that. I am not even going to risk. I mean, with one of those, even that's a risk. Because those homing shots can hit these at the wrong time and take life off. So that's what I would do for section one. are last, you can still get LP. Almost right. If you were last, dead last on the leaderboard, you would still get some LP, I believe. I don't even think it matters on how many people I'd have to get to the foundation from somebody who knows the system better than I do, because I only ever see the end of the system. So, basically, my still alive. You were going to patiently wait there and everything. That's the point to me. You might have needed him to progress. I believe I am correct in saying that you would be better to put a shit score in than not even put a score in at all. The one thing that I do know this could go badly. It's going badly. And no, I didn't get away with that. The one thing that I do know is if you don't compete in a discipline on a leaderboard, you can definitely not get any legend points. But I will, hang on, just review it. So, yeah, so addressing your question directly, Camille, because I didn't hear a massive amount of that, so I answered it as best as I could. Uh, let's get rid of that. That's, this is a good one, because that'll, this'll hit the skull, and then they'll go up and hit that for some damage. I'll take a new shot. What I would do now is I would waste shots on him until I get another Divine Sight or a Cupid's. There we go. And then I will do that. He's spawned me. He's got confused though and done the kind of glitched. No, all of these are hits, and I'm not taking hits. Unless I get hit by that. 
but Divine 3 will have that, just in case Keith is either watching afterwards, move into the boulder, bring this across your vision. You should never be hit by the boulder as long as you do it soon enough. Let's see if we can get this finished at this stage. No. Yeah, so long story short, even the one thing that I will say is... Yes. Yeah, so, my point here is, you are better off putting in a run, even if it scores one point, but finish that run. I don't even think in some things you have to actually finish the run. Normal tactics here, assassinate, and run. And then we're going to spam him right in the jaw. But yeah, the, the big thing as well is, like, because I've finished... I don't think I've ever finished first in anything. I've finished first in tournaments, but their LP is a little bit different. I know, like, for instance, finishing first on a board will get you a thousand LP, I think, was what it used to be a long time ago. Sorry, you guys might not be able to hear me very well. I know that's most particularly loud. So jawline, mm. stuff you. Mm. Get out of the way of that. What I'm waiting for here is an arrow that will do the work for me. Those will do, and now we can go. Lightning ball should finish off that horn for me. Uh, yeah, so if I, let's say, for instance, you get a thousand LP for finishing first. Even top. 100 I'd like to say or definitely top 50 like between the top 1 and top 10 I think there's like a, maybe a 50 point difference and then I think there's a 50 point difference again between 10 and 50 maybe even 100 yeah um yeah you've got to do so the way that siege works siege previously I think worked on just total now it works on every sub board which means total grand total for siege of heaven that is and total for each map and there's lots of little subcategories headshots amounts of cupids killed time completed in distance what are the other ones there are some others but i can't think of them and it rewards you LP on each of those leaderboards. Now, there's a lot of people that don't have to do a lot of work and get a lot of LP because I don't think a lot of people know about that. Uh, I've said it from the start that there is a lot of legend points available. All you have to do is go and hunt them down in the likes of Siege of Heaven. So you want to complete every map and put a score on every map by getting a score on every map you'll at least put a score in each of those subcategories meaning more legend points what i've done is i've played my normal game and then i've actually had a look at some of those categories like the timed ones and then played through the thing is the timed one doing it as fast as possible you need to be killing things at stupid ranges which you can do with things like Tempests, and you can because you want to be killing them quickly. So by doing a run like that, you can get quite high in the distance one, as well as quite high in the time limit one. Now... Who is, who is that joining us? Sorry, I didn't. It doesn't sound like a familiar name. Bear with. Hey, Grizzin. No, you're quite right. So there is there is some um, advice from somebody there. Do a little bit of everything. 
always but see this is the thing that was never explained to me when i first started playing idu and we got to the end of it was either season one or season two and i was like oh what i only got so many legend points for finishing i think i was like maybe top 20 probably even top 50 and i only got them for the bow and i couldn't understand why i didn't get many in anything else and it was explained to me because i didn't do anything else i didn't realize that there was a separate leaderboard for the crossbow at the time because i'd only just started if i remember rightly i don't think siege of heaven existed and i'd missed what tournaments there were so yeah Moral of the story, or long story short, or what have you, is do as many things as you can and compete in as much as you can, even if you just put one score in. Like Norb said, just go and do, if you really hate Siege of Heaven, just go and do one map. However, I would implore you to then just go on each and every other map, fire a couple of arrows and die, because at least you will log a score. And logging a zero score, or any score, as I understand it, is better than not. And on, on that note, I know that's for Nor, but I definitely want those shard colours. Oh, that's a good orphan. I like this orphan. Nice quick kill. You'll note that I haven't bothered killing anything up until this point, because I've got a volley five. And a volley five is a nice quick kill. And we are, I know she's in there. And I know that I can just go around this corner and murder her. Quick sharp, bye. Ooh. Landed next to her. Oh, you moved. Gotta wait for her to stop to make sure this connects so that I don't lose any life. She'll usually stop in the crowd. This isn't going very well at all. That way. I'll hold still. But note how I'm not going at any kind of kick-ass pace, abusing slow time, massively, that'll do, there we go, she's dead. Yeah, normally I would be, <laughs> I managed to hit with a teleport arrow on the way in. You remember when I said whenever I hit the recording button things start going wrong? <laughs> But yeah, normally I would have been straight in there, hit her with that volley five. Uh, what have I missed, chat? <laughs> you know. Yeah, I'm going. If anything, this should be a good lesson in how... If you abuse slow time, and as Jay said, keep moving. <laughs> Please be in section three, and then it can be all part of the plan. It's not going to be in section three. Of course it's not. It's going to be indoors as well. One of the things that you can do with the indoor ones is you can kind of locate the pit by going across the roofs. Such a simple technique, he says. So easy anybody can do it, he says. didn't need to kill them but I'm just trying to give myself some space this is the problem with not getting things on the way as you go in you should I've had to double back now in abyss purgatory in this situation I should just keep going because it's going back that will get you pings but we're doing all right on life for a change I'd normally expect to be um, a couple of bits of life down yeah, I don't know about you guys I think I can hear some ghosts in there. Yep, so I know that just over the other side of this wall is the pit entrance. Because I know that that's a location that it can be in. So again, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna try and clear this bit. <laughs> oh, I am sure my battery will be just fine. To be fair, these runs are quite throwaway, so even if it died a death on me, I wouldn't be too bad. But I will, it is a good point, I will check in just a moment. Again, I'm not here for scoring. Let's have a look, see. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Uh, it's funny, you've not been the only person that has said to me about doing a book for this game. I don't see why anybody would buy it. Not when there's live streams. People will learn so much easier from videos, right? I was kind of hoping to be able to not alert the ghosts and then flip across into the pit without having to fire any more shots, which, if we can get rid of that guy, we might be able to do. No. So the other thing that you'll see me doing as well is I'm trying to eliminate having to do long-range shots completely from my repertoire. I'm trying to keep everything close. Oh, you're a pain in the ass you are. I'm going to go deal with you first before you get out of hand. Waiting for that turn is also just one problem after the other. Hey, happy little accident. So wait for... Oh, look! <laughs> Shrapnel blast worked! It did what it's supposed to do. Still shit. Right. There we go. Now, I don't want to go over there, so I'll teleport in from here. Which means we'll come back out here. Now, if you keep the, pit, the run going without leaving the game and coming back in again, you should play through the pits in order each time. Because one thing that I haven't done with this is quit and save, uh, rest in sanctuary or save and quit before I go into the abyss portal. And I might actually start doing that to try and show it off. Now, the reason why is because I don't actually want agony. I want despair. Would you believe Nice one, Camille. Yep, I'll uh, I'll come and try and not be too much of a nuisance in your first stream. Oh, that's a bit quiet. <laughs> I've never experienced that before. Oh, you know. I tell you what. This game does definitely not want me to show this technique off. Why would he even do that? And back to back to safety. Wow. Lulled into a false sense of security much. All these great arrows. Incursion. When it's bike times three. Pestilence. Little cars going in there. But again, absolutely abusing the hell out of slow time here. These little pockets are great places to sit and defend as long as you slow time. I mean, I know we got a little bit lucky here in that we've got our hand of God over us, but you know, it will happen. Hand of God does come through quite regularly. So yeah, that's a first for me. I've never wandered into the pit and it not been loaded up until I get so far in and then everything descends on me. <sighs> Is it something to do with meta? Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? So right, we're now going to kill... We got the orphan. I did take a ding. So, you remember I said about being able to accommodate so many hits per world and per cycle. So we know that we get a heal per pit, so that's two heals. We also get two heals at the end of each boss, which means that going through a cycle, we can recover a maximum of... Maths and ghosts do not go together well. So we could get two out of... One out of this pit, two out of Anakin, one out of Paradise Lost, that's a grand total of four, so we would get seven heals. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you would get seven blocks of life back, because as long as we have that 30% thing that gives you your double, okay, every 30%, we could, could get a double. 
but we would use like the law of i suppose averages in that every third of those seven that we get across a world should be worth two blocks of life so we can assume that we should get at least eight blocks of life to use per cycle and less per world obviously and so you take your risks based on that although you shouldn't be taking any risks I'm trying to make this as comfortable and simple as possible and we keep it slow or slow as possible anyway we like seeing divine sights and no we like seeing divine sights and um people's wrath in these scenarios because of course obviously it doesn't there's no chance of a miss which is always a bit of a godsend if i'm honest let's go and kill those guys Chill in this corner. And we are still about keeping risk low. Still clearing our sections. Fireballs through walls. Why not, eh? Find a lot of that out recently in the higher cycles. Hand of God bubbles, especially in the pit, if you are in a nice safe space. Use it. And by that I mean we know there's a hand of God bubble set up there for another few seconds at least if we don't do anything. Go and pick a fight and drag it back there potentially. If the enemies are fast enough. These ones aren't going to be and that'll have gone by now. But if there was a little bit more less of a distance between those factors, we might have been able to make use of that. Do make, if, especially if you're not going to center of mass every shot, do make a point of slow motioning. The name's right there, and most of you guys are holding the bow like this, I think. So the name's right there, so you've got no excuses not to be checking what's coming out next. For those of you who play Tetris, you should be to any kind of level. You'd always be checking the next block type, right? That's a Tetris thing. Same as this. It's given as the information. All we've got to do is make use of it. Even these shots are a little bit long ranged for what I should do. You can definitely have that and that. With those explosive arrows, as soon as they go out, stop and wait to see what happens. Especially when you've got things like Ball of Lightning. If you think that they're going to die, then you just stop doing what you're doing. Even potentially run away. The alternative costs you life. Teleporters can be an absolute pain. Why is my game doing this? Don't know if that's translating to the stream or not. My game keeps on um, really badly stuttering, actually. kids. Ah, incursion. Cheers. And that should finish that one off, so we don't want to fire any more shots. Yeah, it wasn't, for me, it wasn't even a frame rate drop. It was like the whole screen door effect, screen jarring. I haven't had that recently either. Oh, meta Facebook Oculus Quest thingy, what have you done? No. 
Okay, so we're now a few dings down, which is not good. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they know what I'm trying to do. They're trying to shut me down. They don't want, to see, don't want you to see these techniques. <laughs> so, in this circumstance, I'm going to jump, grab the health, and get out. Oh, I thought I got that. I don't think I did. Damn it! <laughs> did I let go of the button too soon? Yes, I did. <gasps> Terrible behaviour. But yeah, that is teleport grabbing, and it usually works, especially with health. Teleport. Initiate your slow time, grab hold of your thing, and it should come straight to you. <sighs> All these secret techniques, they don't seem to be working out quite so well tonight. It's because I'm flustered. I don't know if I sound it or not. <laughs> flustered with everything that's happened so far today. I've had quite a time of it. So... Again, absolute mess here because we've already skipped through this area once. Now, it doesn't matter as long as we beat Anakin without taking a hit, which we should be able to do just by spamming him. We'll get that health back. Once you've engaged that portal as well, you are invincible. You are also invincible for a good few seconds when you exit a portal. I would still make a point of clearing wherever you're teleporting in from to a portal, if you're going to a pit, because you don't want to come out to all that noise and mess. Um, slow timing in that situation can actually get you killed. So, Right, now I would spam Anakin up until about cycle three. I think at four, you have to try and do the whole snow globin thing, but without Hand of God and Winter's Bite. But yeah, let's see how this goes. We can afford to be a bit as well. Do aim for the head, because I hope that's not gonna work. Damn it. Didn't get the right arrows on that occasion. Oh, holy lights, yeah, thanks. Oh, this isn't going well. Not gonna lie. Right, let's play this a little bit differently then. Just gonna have to keep moving. Lots of slow time abuse. Hope for a good arrows. <sighs> so herein lies the problem with spamming when you've got random arrows coming out. <laughs> So maybe cycle three will play that a little safer. But again, even with everything alerted and abusing lots of slow time, we'd put a lot of damage onto Anakin before anything bad happened. Although, don't get me wrong, I think I got quite lucky there. <laughs> I could have gone very wrong. <clears throat> so, score check. We are almost at 400,000. If we were to rest in Sanctuary, let's go and see where that puts us. I think cycle three, I will show you a safer way to deal with Anakin. But I'm just... I'm not rushing it, but I'm obviously trying to get through it for the purposes of showing off what I'm doing. So, 387,000 would almost put us on the top page. And I have done... Three pits, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven orphans. And we're not going to be doing an awful lot in Paradise as well. This, if you stick around, is where you will lose your life. We also want to try and get through Paradise Lost without getting touched. That way, we can definitely get back up to full life. We're only two bars down. So, we're not doing too bad. Should get up there. I found some nice roots whilst doing this as well. You are not safe up here. Cupids will come after you. Cupids can hit you there. 
but that route was about as efficient as I can make it while staying safe, hopping through that section of Paradise Lost. This one is probably the most difficult because it's bloody long. And I think I hear the orphan. I do. I think she's down the bottom there. Yeah, there she is. <sighs> now, this is where I would potentially go back because I wasn't expecting the orphan to be there. And I'm not going to play like the orphan's going to be there either. What I'm going to try and do here is use things that will isolate the targets to cycle through my arrows. <sighs> that's not bad. Don't think that's going to do the damage though. So cycle that one. That one will. Wildfire 5 will have. The reason why I wouldn't take a Cupid for an orphan assassination is because the arrow explodes before the points stick in. And it's the points sticking in that do the damage. So what we're going to do here, the plan is we are going to looping teleport straight in front of her, execute. We're going to get onto, onto that roof, up onto that, and make our way quickly through the rest of the level. Sounds easy, right? Stage one, stage two, and we go. Doing lots of slow time all the way. If your teleport arrow is particularly long, damn it, ow. Should have probably killed that one. your teleport arrow is particularly long, make a point of moving your body as you are teleporting, slowly leaning to one way I find is best. That was not good. Come on. This is a fairly efficient route. I'm just making a bit of a hand of it. And then we would go to there. One of the other things that I might show off if we've got time is one of the things that I found that you can... Oh, not found. I've known this for a while, and it was in one of my uh, videos about how the crossbow is just better for the new start, is you can load and fire a teleport arrow whilst holding the shield out with the crossbow. So you can actually have the shield up and be moving at all times. That saved my bacon in this a few times. Or at least save me a little bit of life. Now, I'm not going to take those shots. If he fireballs, I just have to suck it up and hide around the corner. As soon as he takes that first swipe. We're going to slow time these arrows so we're paying attention to what we get. And it's all because of Holy Light. Holy Light is an absolute ass for this. Those, The other one that can be a pain is Cataclysms because of that when they explode, they nudge him. Have another one of those. A cataclysm, have a wildfire, hail of arrows. Oh, that was silly. Really wanted to get that hail of arrows. Oh, he doesn't do that one very often. Did the backswing. I like it. This is coming back in again. There. Cats. Volley. Winters. The other thing, oh, thank God, stop in there. The other thing that's worth doing as well fire the divine sights up. You can sometimes get them to loop into his head, which obviously does a lot more damage. One of the things that we were talking about, come on, give me the three. Show me, show me you love me. Yes, there we go. Full life, happy days. It's like that ding from Gay didn't even happen. So, one of the... Ah, oh, I never hit him in the live stream. One of the things with Gabe to note, because with Anakin you haven't got time to really decide. If you hit him with a Winter's Bite, you don't really... Imagine taking damage on Gabe, Cycle 2. No, you're not wrong. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
Um, I haven't come across it yet. It is, it isn't new knowledge to me, but I've never had it myself. Although I'm having a few firsts tonight. In the, ooh, hang on, let's check first. Hey, dude, thank you for joining us. I need to have a better check for these pits. Yeah, what I will say every new name that comes in here is, uh, yeah, we've had some problems with the game that I was looking to do in the key giveaway tonight, so we are going to reschedule that one. So if you are here for the key giveaway for Rogue Ascent, that will be another week now. However, you can always enjoy some In-Death Unchained on the Oculus with us, if you desire. I don't think she's here. I think she might be over there. There she is. Not a great arrow for it, but we'll make do. You have one of those. You have that. You might finish her. Yes, it did. Lovely. And away. So, the basic premise of what I'm doing here, or what I should be doing, is making sure that I have a good arrow to go and assassinate her before I start looking for that orphan. Now, I don't think, if you've checked all the locations for the pit, one thing that I have found that can be quite useful is turning around and having a look. Because there are even a couple of locations that I'm not familiar with. There's some weird ones that are on like the sides of buildings. And they're rare, but they do happen. I think it's... Yeah, there can be one right there. And it's a weird one. However, we can't see anything there. And looking at that, it's either going to be rear-facing from us. Or it's going to be underground. If it's not in that first section, which... You know, I'm going to double check. I don't think any of those buildings have got an underground section. And that's the only thing that we could do. And rather than hopping all the way back, I would rather double check. Yeah, I don't think... Ugh, famous last words. <laughs> I'm usually so good at identifying pits. So good. Just can't demonstrate it tonight. But yeah. Score-wise... Again, we're probably, with that score now, front page for Fletcher. And I know I'm making a little bit of a hash of it, but once you get these techniques down, you obviously need to be able to abuse your slow time. You need to be comfortable with your rooftop hopping, and you need to know how to deal with the bosses. There it is. Good. Now, we can't make that shot from a lot of places. However... We can long range that shot if we try really, really hard. Come on, that should go. I didn't get the vibe. Did then. Because oh, it's down there. Bugger. Let's get a reassess. Damn it. Now, I haven't found a good location to approach this one from because it depends on what building that is as to whether you can get the teleport arrow angle. And if you land it short, <laughs> you land it low, a heap of problems. But I think, damn it, that's a bad teleport. You can, if you do that, do an emergency teleport into the portal. And it's risky, but you can get out of that alive. Good job that was fun. So I think, right, let's get out of this mess, because we don't, I'm not trying to show you how to do it this way. The impatient person as well. I'm trying to show you how to do it. So, so just like this, instead of aggroing half the level, don't do that bit. Now, we're probably going to have quite a lot of cupids. So what I would normally do in this situation, <laughs> if I'd have made my shot, teleport from there, across there, across to here, onto this roof. And if I remember rightly, 
you can take out the minimum of enemies and still make that teleport shot there. But we might have to deal with some of the cupids. So the best bet is to alert them and then move away and then wait for them to teleport in so that you can hopefully take them out without losing any life. Because I'm not taking these long shots unless it gives me divine sight or cupids. Yeah, thanks, Lord. I'm, uh, I'm glad you're keeping note of these. These are the ones that you clip. Maybe I should scream next time. Nice manly scream. But again, these are... Um, if you you might, whilst you are practicing this, or even doing it live like I am at the moment, you might make a teleport arrow like that, and it can land you in a lot of hot water. There's two things that you can do. Quickly fire another teleport arrow. It doesn't matter where it goes. As long as that one doesn't land, it will cancel it. Or shard. That will also cancel a teleport arrow. So there you go. There's a lesson there somewhere. So... I've also got something else that I'll be putting into a tips in 30 ticks. Uh, this is a risky shot. I hate holy light. Holy light, I really do. So, I shouldn't have made that shot, but I was getting a bit impatient. So, from here, I am... Uh, hang on. Now, from here, I am crouching down. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Come on now. Come on, we've done this before. We have to be a bit further back. That's not it. That's not it. Might even have to get lower. There we go. <sighs> I had to get on my knees for that one. That was disgusting. There are some pits that are harder than others. There are some pits where you will have to clear the entrance to get to them. But if you get a decent run, you might not have to do too much work. Now we're just going to play this one normal, but as close a range as possible, in the hope... Thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm glad that you recognize my teleporting skill, Norb. It's, it's most appreciated. Validation is what I am here for, and I'm glad that validation has been achieved. <laughs> ah, this will be my intergalactic stream of wrongness tonight, I think. Hmm. These are all risky shots. <laughs> like to get a good arrow please that'll do oh, at least she's cursed or pestilence or summon don't try and hit that second shot immediately although she looks like she's frozen she ain't oh and away so again, one of the things I actually haven't been doing, believe it or not, is I haven't actually been taking a lot of silly hits. I would normally expect to be four to five, four to six life down at most times through one of these, but I've practiced it a little bit. So as Norb has quite rightly pointed out, I have become the teleport master. I am one with the teleport arrow at all times. I'll hear nothing else of it. But I would expect to get dinged, in all seriousness, a lot more than I have been, and then leaning on the levels and the pits to get said life back. As I say, we can get, on average, we should be getting eight back per cycle. And that is a lot of life. Let's see if we can finish you. Do one of them. And one. But also remember that we're still on quite low cycle so the points are here that a lot of enemies do not react very quickly a lot of enemies you have lots of time to deal with a lots of enemies will go down i know he's very low life but a lots of enemies will go down very quickly. you're on time for a change it's good of you barrage of needles is a pain in the ass of a shot most of the time 
fire those divine sights up and sometimes sometimes they will carve in uh, Very good, Noel, but I'm trying to t teach you how to get lots of legend points on the Fletcher leaderboard. So just, just, that can be another game, all right? That can be another stream. <laughs> but no, you are quite right. There is only one teleport master, and his name is ah, Beanie. So it should be ah, Beanie. Ah, something along those lines. That was a very solid effort on his part. I hate holy light. If I said I hate holy light. This is a good arrow. Let's get some headshots out of it. That didn't work. <laughs> Let's get the health from back here instead of being clever with a tele teleport grab. And we're going. There we go. Damage repaired. So we. Memory. Yes, we did get the orphan. Get the orphan? I think we got the orphan. You, thankfully, as an aide to memoir, you can usually check your score and be quite certain that at cycle two we're at half a million. So I would say yes, we did indeed get the orphan. Frantically goes back and checks. So, next cycle, please. So this is, now you could do this at a lot slower and a lot more leisurely pace than I'm doing, but I'm trying to get as far as I can whilst really badly showing off the techniques that I've honed over many months. <laughs> Please do. Please do. Hmm. I figured I had, but my memory is fucking garbage, as you guys are well aware. So there you go. That is end of cycle two, other than doing ASMO. If you think you can get to cycle two, doing what I've done, bear in mind there is a, like, 16 opportunities to heal if you follow my path. If you are aware of where the orphans are or the general location of and can teleport on top of the buggers with the right arrow and you can slowly clear the pits out of just enough so you can get the fuck out of there, well, cycle two. And we are top ten. Thank you, Fee. <laughs> 47%. So that could mean anywhere between one hour and two minutes, based on how this has been going recently. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, this could die anytime soon, then. Interesting. To be fair, I did put... Whilst I had the headset... Oh, I thought it was going to go, then. Whilst I had the headset to one side... Um... Let's see if we can get another cycle out of this 47%. <laughs> Have you lot on the edge of your seat, eh? But the other thing with this as well is it's good training to reaffirm the locations of orphans in most places, where those pits are. Teleport mastery, as Norb has quite rightly pointed out. Lots of other little factors that don't get practiced. The, if, <laughs> if I'm completely honest, the one thing that I like about this is you can do it very fast. Oh, has it? Oh, I wonder... I, I don't know, Fee. In that case, then maybe it felt like three hours because all the problems we had at the start. <laughs> right. <coughs> Again, Asmo can be a bit of a problem. Uh, I would say the hardest boss to deal with is Anakin. I'm going to try and show you. It's still not a safe way. But, you know, if you can get past the first cycle of 
Asmo, you can get a pretty decent score together in what I would say is not a lot of time. How much effort this is to you will be based on your level of skill. I promise you if you practice it, it will make you better. There are skills within this there are skills within this that are not useful, i.e. teleporting into portals from a massive distance to avoid enemies, uh, using the shield whilst moving around with the crossbow teleporting, well that's not too bad a skill to have. I do have something that I want to test as well, if we get to the end of this and I've only got a little bit of battery, you guys can help me. Yeah, possibly. I mean, I didn't actually stop the stream at any time. Ooh, lightning balls. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. I'm literally just firing off everything. That cat's where's more do the job. But remember, slow time. Let some of them close in on you, turn and move. You don't need to worry about the teleport arrow hitting any of those skulls either because the teleport arrow cannot kill in this situation. That's stage one of Asmo done, that, was, that went rather nicely. That's a good arrow if it goes through those. Lovely! Press the to the face, yeah, why not? Let's put that on you. That'd be lovely. Oh yeah, top tactics there. Oh, curse of God, we want to get this off of one of those guys. I got very lucky then. <laughs> the first two shots missed, and that last one is... I don't even know what angle that comes out at. It's definitely not straight. So let's let the curse do its business here. Because it saves us having to take any shots. It also saves us having to risk taking any shots. Which is almost as good a thing. Let's see if we can get some shots on. Incubi here. Curse doing its thing. Yeah. If the incubi gets too far away in this circumstance, you need to make it so that he cannot see you, and then he will teleport into somewhere where you can, or where he can see you rather, and is usually a lot closer. Lovely. Again, a lot of what I was doing there was cycling arrows on the body for the good arrows, but this is why, and I know you want headshots and all, this is why you have to go send them out because of the likes of Pony Light and Incursion. They will cost you hits every fucking time. Mm hmm. That's one of the arrows that we want. If any of you guys have seen my Masters in a Minute video on Asmo, you will know that Cupid Times 3 is a fucking great arrow for Asmo. Probably only trumped by Wrath. Three of those into here will kill the skull, loop back around, and it may even kill the horn. That definitely will, and that might even kill his other dorsal flange. But it didn't. What we can also do, if it's clever, is if it goes right, fire one of those. Oh, I did it. I should have waited. Holy oh, hellfire, no. Ball lightning. Uh, no. No. So again, hitting the body, but in slow time, to cycle the arrows, what I'm after here. That can go in the groin. Damn it, miss. Miss. Again, what I was cycling there for was I could hit some of my sights. So we made you swap. Pestilence, maybe. Now, the curse of gods are a very dangerous arrow in this circumstance. So we want to try and connect it to the incubi, and we do not want to kill him because we don't want that curse to spread. 
Why is that? Because I don't want to have to deal with all the shit that's going to come out. Okay, it's spreading, so we need to be quick. So, I can't... This is bad. I can't stop that curse. Moving about. So it will kill everything. So we need to now assist. Otherwise, we'll get to do so. By prioritising the archers. So you can never see this. Killing everything at its moment. Fucking hell's this guy playing at? Doesn't he know? Catch! You. So I'm still going to try and just get the archers because if I don't kill too much, but it's quite impossible at this stage, if I don't kill too much, I might not have to deal with Cupid. Would be nice. But I think they can't whether I like it or not. That's not good. Oh, that's a good arrow though. Got very fortunate there. And then. So, as much as I am making a meal of some of this, <laughs> again, we're not, I'll keep trying to tell you this to try and maybe convince myself, but in all honesty, we're not doing too bad, because we're still pretty close to top health, getting that old stream of luck. Back to purgatory, same again. So... I was obviously expecting this to go a lot better than it has, but hopefully the big takeaway here will be I've gone pretty rough as rats on these techniques and not, I think it's more to do with a little bit of misfortune and um, yeah they do, you're quite right Nord. Hello Keith. Oh, if you just got here, I could have showed you what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I think you probably saw it from the video, but I can demonstrate here. It's moving the hand and spamming. Norb, there's a problem with that. Do you know what it is in Fletcher? How much damage does a teleport arrow do in Fletcher mode, Norb? Because, you know, I am trying to teach you something here. <laughs> and that's not going to cut it, really, is it? I did wonder if I did this mode, if anybody would ask me to do it. As a backup, silly things like what Beanie did. <laughs> so I figured if I put myself on Fletcher, you can't. Because teleport arrows don't do any damage. So I, went, I can't do teleport arrow pit only. Although it'd be quite good if I could. <laughs> well, well, in that case then, well done, Nob, for your amazing game knowledge. Congratulations. What weren't we looking for? We weren't looking for the pit. Pretty sure I would have seen it on the way here. So I reckon it's in the end there. Here's an interesting one. Now, I think... I don't think I've seen it ever spawn anywhere else. The only place the orphan can be on this configuration is over there. And that's something that I should do a guide on. Orphan locations. I don't know how useful that would be. I could draw a map. Blow up. Okay. And away. <sighs> oh, go on then. Let's use shrapnel blast as intended. Look at that. Right, so I sh should have just teleported out of there, but I wanted to make sure. Now, remember I was telling you about teleport arrow mastery? Ah, check this one out. So this one is a practiced shot. 
<laughs> which can all go wrong from here. So what I found was getting onto this slope. Position uh, too far. Got too close. Burnt the sun. So this is another thing that you can do is you can teleport all the way back to despawn things if you were to set them off by accident like I just did. Oh, was it the other way? No, I was taking a shot from the wrong side. We're in. We're in. And we'll come out back where we teleported in from. Usually a useless skill. But again, I suppose this is part of the reason why I want to show off this technique is because I'm kind of forefathering it, learning it, whatever you want to call it. Suggestions and input are very welcome. Get good is not welcome, but, you know, anything constructive is. Although get good might be not a bad shout at the moment. Yeah, a bit late for that, Dave. <laughs> we'll be fine. <laughs> Famous last words. I can get back here so quickly with what seems like so little effort that I don't really mind too much if we lose this one. It's not a, a massive drama. It's not like losing it from fucking cycle 10. Right, now again, I am cycling arrows at this point. I might have taken Divine Sight. There are some arrows that are better for others than... Volley 3 is not bad, but at this stage of the game... We need a little bit more. Divine Sight 5 could do with the business, but the Orphan isn't very close at the moment. That's definitely going right out. Winter's Bite 3 isn't bad, but it doesn't do a lot of damage, however it does do the tick damage, which stops her getting away, which is nice. Or, sorry, it freezes her temporarily, which is nice, but there's something weird about doing that in the hitboxes, and when you can hit her afterwards, that's what I want. So I'm going to go and find me an Orphan. Nope. 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 Which means she has to be... Nope. Oh. Ow. I mean, that's part of the tactic, because uh, now I'll do even more damage. To be fair, it's not a badge. You can do even more damage to an enemy on your first hit after a hit. So this would definitely be capable of KOing an orphan. However, we haven't seen it, which is really weird because they're usually quite high up on the old spawn, like, priority. So I wonder if I can just dig really deep enough. Let's check again, see if we can find this orphan. So what I hope I'm showing you here is that you can, with a lot of slow time and teleport arrows, you can really throw the anxiety level of your chat who are watching you completely through the roof. What, so have we just not put an orphan in the pit today? does mean that I have an awful lot of shit following me, but we know how to despawn things, don't we? We do that by getting away from things and getting to other groups of enemies that hopefully have forgotten about us. Although, this part... Was that normal? Was that good? What, what about now? Is this good? Nice little bit of slow time whilst I casually select my arrows to dispatch the ghosts. <laughs> Always be careful with cursed enemies. Obviously. But yeah, so the reason why I do all of this is not to try and put anybody on edge. I genuinely... 
think that this is a good tactic just because of the fact that you're not taking, you know, it doesn't look like it, you're not taking anywhere near as many shots. And for that matter, you're then not taking anywhere near as many risks. We're still good at this point because we're going to get at least one life when we leave. Remember what I was saying about a lot? Watch out for those explosions. <laughs> there we go. So, again, still good. Just won't lose any more life now. Easy. So when you start getting to half-life and you're nowhere through the pit is when you need to be concerned. Alright, that battery looking like. 32%. All good. Inside the burning house, everything's fine. It's all fine. I'll let that tick some damage before I put the wildfire in because I don't want to replace the effect of that. That one can't go in anyway, that should finish him off. Okay. And now, a little calm before another storm. <laughs> yeah. Sounds legit. I thought they might have changed the interactions and things. Yeah, you have got cataclysms in you. Stay there. That would have been worth so many points ages ago. It's not going to come up, Dave. Promise. It's not going to come up. fun at cycle 15 in my bow run. I basically set myself up in a situation where I had all the arrows that I needed fully stocked and three holy armors before I started playing the game basically from cycle 10 onwards. And you can see my score at the moment. I think I'm closing in on 15 million. Or oh, hear that alarm. That's the alarm that went off last time. That's the alarm that I ignored. So. <laughs> Better be quick. As I said, it doesn't matter. I'll still gasp. I promise I'll still gasp. Because that's what you're here for. go faster with all of this and sometimes you know it is a bit safer but on you, pal. You went right into the poison. <sighs> Where's that dot exit? Pretty good about now. That's a good arrow for there. Come on, then. This is where I wanted 
you to go. Two finish you two off. That's lava. Floor is. Oh, 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 that looks like that stings. You'll blow up, and the curse will carry on. Any moment now, I'm going to start shooting magical jets. Definitely from my chest region to indicate that the pit is ready to be left. Definitely from my groin region. It wasn't the greatest of shots, I'm trying to be quick. <laughs> one of the things I do like about Divine Sight and the bow is at least you've got the ability to kind of control the shots. In the power that you put out on them. Ow. Assassination thing works on other enemies as well. Obviously they have a lot lower life, so you don't need as much of an arrow. I'm definitely taking some dings now. <clears throat> so yeah, what I'm doing now, don't do that. And that involves keeping a better idea of how your battery works. This should be enough, and this is just a lot of slow to run. Between each shot, as quickly as you can do it. Oh, let me out! How many more can there be left? Feel the magic coming. I think it does. I think you're not wrong. Alright, try this again. Got the health, teleported out of there. Both actions at once. Lovely. Now. Uh, that would normally go right through me. However, I started slow timing. One of the other problems that you have when you leave the pit is you can't teleport immediately. And you can't shard immediately because you can't notch your arrows immediately, which can be a bit of a problem. Uh, rest in sanctuary. Whew, easy. Oh, just time to show you something I found out earlier. Mm. I think we got time. What should I do? Runner. Probably easiest. So, something that I've been playing a little bit around with is bending the knee a little more often than I would attempt to in game. And I'll show you this and then we'll call it a night. Actually, we'll go and have a quick look and see what my score's at. So, one of the things that I've been discovering at Cycle 15 is enemies take a lot of hits. Who would have thought? We're not here for speed, by the way. Enemies take a lot of hits. Knights are the target that we want to be going for. We want to be constructing those long-range headshots. But it's fucking annoying when they're throwing axes at you, right? Where are all the knights? I'm also not missing shots now. Or trying not to because of Fletcher. Brilliant. But wonder snack, you see. There they are. Okay. Right, if you lads can come upstairs, that'd be great. So, one of the things I've known for a while is that once they start throwing axes at you, they're going to stay put. 
and they will adopt that Furinax stance, and they can't actually be staggered out of it. So it's actually good in one respect, in that I can hit my headshots continually. What I found recently is if you get into a position where they can throw axes at you, and you move away, they will reposition. Wait for them to... Well, that guy's not even going to bother turning, I don't think. They will keep moving to a position where they can throw the axe at you. Once you are in that position, if you wait for the axe to go past, because I don't want to deal with this whilst I'm headshotting, and lower yourself so that they... Oh, that's not going to work. Of course it's not. And lower yourself so that they can see you, but you are not presenting much of a target, they will sit there and they will not throw axes. All I'm doing here is kneeling. So I can now... So imagine these are hits. Headshot, 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 headshot. They're not going to move. They will keep... If I can... Hang on, I'll try and get a weak headshot on one of them. Or a weak... Oh, for fuck's sake. Try and get a really weak body shot on one of them. There you go. So he'll move... And then sometimes they'll, after a couple of hits, they will return to the position that they were in. No, nope, he's not even going to do it. So hopefully you can see the benefit of that. And it also works on your crenellations and these pitched roofs. And I don't even know if it's a thing, but I thought like, well, that makes doing headshot after headshot after headshot a little bit easier, other than the fact that, you know, my knees are probably going to give out after this run. Doesn't work on archers, before you ask. But let's see if we can drive some more out into the open and try and show it off a little bit more. So there's some knights. And it's not like 100%. I'm still working on this to try and find out. But I figure I'm always telling you guys to construct the long-range headshots. So I'm on the pitch of this roof now might have my name on it. If I come down off of the pitch, they will probably move away to throw axes. And at this point, I'm not even ducking. But what I've done is I've reduced my target area. It kind of works with things like this as well. If I was to attack from, say, here. Yeah, so I didn't know if it was a thing or not. I'll definitely do a tips in 30 ticks because I don't think it's widely known. But yeah, it allows... The thing is, there's a point where enemies are so far away that they can't even throw axes at you anyway. But if you're not comfortable at shooting things at that range, if you lower your own hitbox so that you can like only just see maybe their torso and their head... <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, as I say, you can use the pictures of the roof to lower your profile. The problem is you need to do it somewhere where they can't get to you as well. Otherwise, they'll just run round and find another angle of attack, which they can do. So, um, Right, let's go and quickly check uh, what that score was for Fletcher. Bear in mind, I am finished on Purgatory and going into Asmo. Fletcher, what were we on? Fletcher, oh, it's starting to start. Could go any second. So at the moment, being able to get to Purgatory 3, just killing the orphans, just dealing with the bosses, would get me to... What's that? Sixth in the world, just behind Stanky Storms. I'd like to do this again, and I'd like to try and do it better when I'm a little less... Uh, feeling like I've been running around trying to sort things out with meta and messing around. But hopefully this gives you a um, a general idea. Oh, it could go. Could go. Yeah, it's not, it's not a hard and fast thing. I'm still playing around with it because obviously it's very useful for me at silly high cycles where I've got to kill things in about 50 to 100 headshots. And as riveting as that gameplay is, and as much as you are yearning all to see it, 
it <laughs> you will not be privy to much of my play within that cycle unless i get to a point where i'm comfortable and then i think like yeah fuck it i'll just you know carry on playing with chat in my ear and see how we do but as i said this is partly being me being able to get to cycle 15 and not feel threatened is partly down to you guys because i don't know whatever you me talking and listening to chat and answering when i'm not doing it i don't know it's leveled me up again maybe i don't know so thank you all very much you're all most appreciated uh yeah so on that note i think we will call it there i may carry that fletcher run on in another stream if you guys want to see it done to its completion and see how high we could get because i might be able to get higher than what i've scored originally off the back end of that run because life-wise we're doing really well so just got to kill anakin get those two health and then i think i'm back to full life again which is a bit better than what i would usually do but again i've been doing it more and more and more now and been getting better and better so all right on that not so much of a bombshell i wish you all a very good night thank you very much for putting up with the streaming efforts thank you a big shout out to facebook slash meta slash oculus with whatever the fuck they're doing um and apologies for the rogue ascent thing i will reschedule have a word and see if i can uh, get something organized so thank you all i've been silver tongue devil good night <laughs>